Hey, uh, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I wanted to make a video, a little short video, while I'm doing a little pre-trip, checking my truck out before I hit the road. I'm in uh, Wyoming, about to drive eight or so hours to Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, I wanna talk a little bit about Roadmasters again. I don't know if many people seen my first video, but uh, when when I got my CDL, I started at the Roadmasters, the little training course for about three to four weeks at the Roadmasters in Columbus, Ohio. And I didn't start with my permit. I didn't start with my permit or anything. Uh, I just joined the school. And the way the process goes, they want you to have your permit before coming because the first week, like the first three days, you're going to be in the classroom doing paperwork and looking at videos. Uh, and on that fourth day, which will probably be, depends on the day you come, I think it'll be like Thursday or Friday. You might start on Tuesday. So it's kind of different. Uh, on that Thursday, if you don't have your permit, you have to go to the BMV and get that in the next that day or Friday. And if you don't, you're going to be held back from everything else. Like because the second week you're going to be on the pad, which is uh, maneuverability with the trucks and learning how to park it and drive backwards, alley dock, 90 degree, uh, same thing. Uh, but yeah, so it's important to get your permit before starting Roadmasters because it, I mean, it's, it's kind of stressful going through the stuff that they need you to do and then being on a hurry to get your permit because it will hold you back and you're, you are on a time limit. Uh, I think over a certain amount of days, if you're over 30 days there, I think you got to start paying or something like that. Uh, but my process was I got my, uh, I actually had to leave because I got distracted home time and stuff like that. I ended up going home for about a, a month. And then when I came back, uh, if you do leave Roadmasters for a certain amount of time, you will have to take a drug test when you come back. Uh, but I ended up getting my my permit coming back and everything. And then if you're signing up to go to Covenant after leaving Roadmasters, I think it'll be best to try to get your hazmat before coming to Covenant because once again, it's a, it's a whole lot of stuff going through your mind, a whole lot of new training process you're gonna have to go through. Uh, and it's gonna take you a minute to get your hazmat if you're not if you're not that focused on it. Like, cause you go home, you wanna spend time with your family, this and that. But I mean, if you're focused on getting your hazmat, when you go home, get your hazmat. But you wanna get your hazmat as soon as possible because joining with Covenant, it'll put you in a higher bracket and uh, you won't be starting from the very bottom. Like 70, I think 70% 70 of the loads are hazmat. And when you get on the hazmat team, you'll start out making some really good money. Uh, but I haven't went to the other side yet because the sun's over there beaming. But I'm gonna get over here and check my tires. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to hit this, I think 400 and like, 74 mile run to a TA in Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna try to bring these videos to you every two days now. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to. And if you guys got any questions, just let me know. I'm here to help you out.